This video is basically uh, going through how I got started, where I started, how I got here, and, and all that kind of stuff, right? So I guess we could start with uh, elementary school, right? The hell? My first instrument in elementary school was a cello, which uh, I wasn't really a big fan of. Um, moved to the uh, just snare drum from the cello, and I was part of the band in, in elementary. Um, did that for a while. In the process, I started to go into the marching band of the school and all that kind of stuff. As I got into high school, or even before high school, actually, I was delivering papers and just trying to save up so that I could get a full drum set. Once I got the full drum set, I started taking on um, some drum teachers. Um, and that went pretty good for a while. So I started getting a little bit better. And at the time, my brother was writing music and wanted to go into a recording studio and record it. The studio was right on Long Island. Um, nice studio, 16-track, reel-to-reel, two-inch tape. Um, and I remember going into the studio and being like, man, this, this sounds amazing. Um, so that was my first uh, experience with the studio. And after that, after that whole situation, I was, uh, I was pretty hooked on that. Um, I could start with my first studio. So at the time, I was living at home with my parents. And I had this crazy idea that I would make my bedroom in the downstairs of the home, a, a little studio, even with an isolation booth and everything. And I had my cousin uh, actually do that for me. So that first studio was an analog recording desk like I have now. And I think I had the eight track reel-to-reel -reel Tascam and a two track mastering deck. And that's what I use at that time, there really wasn't much um, computer door stuff going on. Um, so I did that for quite a while. Then I moved out of my house, went into my first home, and uh, the second house had an attic. Uh, and I converted that into a, a studio. And I had my, again, my cousin uh, help me with that. Um, and then I started to toy into um, a little bit of the digital age. Uh, let's see, what did I have? I had a, uh, a Tascam DM24, which is a, dis a digital desk, as well as a Mackie Digital 8 bus with their hard disk recorder. So I did that for a little while, which was okay. Then... After moving out of that home, I moved into the current house that I am now. And I think I started with a Toft ATB, uh, which is another analog console. Um, it was okay. The headroom on the board wasn't really that great. Um, if you had like ribbon mics and that kind of thing, it wasn't enough juice. So I had sold that and decided to get a Orem board from England, a 32 channel board, which I was very excited, but I got to tell you, it was the biggest piece of junk that you could imagine. Um, had a lot of problems with it. Um, ended up uh, getting rid of that. Half the board burnt out. Tried to take it to a tech and, you know, it was just a nightmare. Um, at that time, I still was using uh, Pro Tools as my door. Then I had the idea of um, going with an IS Radar standalone recorder, which um, was a very rock solid uh, system, never crashed, very good sounding. Um, has its limitations with editing and that kind of stuff. Um, but I used it for like almost seven years. Um, and at that time, I got interested in the API company. Um, I went for an API, the box console. That was the first API console that I had. 
and still using the radar. Um, then I decided, you know what, I want to get the 1608 because the API is like the, you graduate, right? So I sold the API the box, then I went to the API 1608, and I was like, oh, well, maybe I can go with the expander. So I went with the API expander. That gave me another 16, so I had 32-channel board. But then it was starting to turn into a, like quite the, quite the big board, two power supplies, and that kind of stuff. And then API came out with the, uh, the API 2448, which is basically, it's an inline desk, so you, it, it does a lot in smaller space. And I was like, okay, that's, I think that's the board I'm gonna settle on. I ended up selling the API 16.8 and the expanded, went off to Texas. And now my current board is the 24.48. Um, finally got out of the IS radar, actually traded that back to IS radar and went with their converter boxes, which I have over there, there's two uh, converter box, which 32 in and 32 out. That's a Dante connected to my Matrix 2 and running uh, Pro Tools HDX. Very, very solid system. Um, very happy with that. Um, and that's where I am right now. So it took a long time. I mean, the room that I'm in now, I think I renovated it three times. It took me three times to get it right. So, there you go. If I, I knew, whatever. But um, that's about it. That's uh, how I got my start in doing this kind of stuff. Oh, and by the way, and in the process of learning the drums, I decided to take bass guitar lessons uh, through the years, and then I decided to take guitar lessons, um, keyboards. I kind of like taught myself. But uh, that's where I'm at. Get friends together, jam. That's where it's at. Hope everybody's having a great day and a great night. Take care.